Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is a fold flat, no cut box. And it only uses a magnet to close. You could use a magnet, Velcro dots, safety disclaimer, don't give uh, magnets to small children or people who might be affected by them, or you could use ribbon to close. Now, I'm gonna pop it open to show you. And, yep, one sheet of paper folded you can see my magnets were up there they're also down here on the front and I would love to say this is entirely my design it is but it's not so I love to look on Pinterest as much as the next person and I can lose myself down a rabbit hole of Pinterest and spend hours and hours and hours on that um, and I can come away having decided I'm going to redecorate my house and with 15 different recipes of things I'm probably mm. never going to make but I came across a whole load of origami videos now I was never very good at, or at origami when I was at school I love it I think the talents are endless I don't really have the nimble dexterous fingers either but I saw a project and it was similar to this although it was much smaller it was a really teeny tiny project a bit like this folded in a similar way and I thought well I'll have to put my take on that because that's just brilliant and I'm going to use a score tool for part of it <clears throat> excuse me they didn't um, it was literally just folded origami paper which is obviously a lot thinner than our paper because it just is it's a different type of paper but I wanted to show you how to make it so but I love it I just think that's fabulous and much like my videos of late for you you can store them completely folded flat until you need them okay right let me pop that over there so you need a piece of paper that's 12 by 12 inches this is the fine art floral 30 by 30 centimeters I am going to put a couple of score lines in to begin so I'm going to put one in at three inches and nine inches on one side which is seven and a half and twenty two and a half and then on the other side at five and seven inches which is twelve and a half and seventeen and a half right so I want it where I've got this panel here across the middle that small panel I'm just going to burnish those up and then the sides as well burnish them too does anybody else lose themselves on Pinterest looking at stuff I could be there forever so if I unfold all of this for you you can see the shape I've formed so I've started like that and I've started like that now in previous projects where we've made these kind of um, no glue cut and stick we've created a diagonal line so if this is where my cross is from there to there by folding and going up on ourselves we're going to do that this is this is the start of a, a bag that you will have seen me make and maybe other demonstrators make so it's exactly the same way it's kind of what we do afterwards that makes the difference. So we'll do the same down here. And the same back here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my finger into the corner of that. Okay, so that's not unusual. You've seen me do this before. What you've never seen me do is fold over this point. So I'm going to take this paper and fold it over at that point there. And I don't really know how I'm going to do it so that you can see. I'm going to need 15 pairs of hands. So just fold and push until you can't go any further. Okay, you can see that? and press down okay and that's held itself closed this one we're going to squish these in it's going to do exactly the same so I'm going to get it sort of semi started ok 
okay you see where we're going a gentle bend over the top pinching with my fingers and it's beginning to hold and what I want to do now is just get this corner folded over so that's where my score line is there and I'm going to bend it just there okay and the same there give that a bit of a push too and that one a bit of a push and it's all beginning to come together so that's going to tuck back in there these will pinch in Whoopsie. and that's going to come over and this is where you would use a ribbon or magnets or velcro dots or something like that to keep it closed because it is going to want to pop open because you know that's the way it is I wonder I wonder oh can I get that to go that side and get it to close that way hmm let us see I can I wasn't expecting that <laughs> lane swerve you could even tuck it like that shall I leave this one like that why not I'm giving you options let me put this one back together so you can see the two so that's um, where I've gone over with the magnets to close and it's a bit smoother there and that's where it's tucked inside. Oh, I like it when I do that. <laughs> you get to see it happening on camera. I didn't know that would happen. Let's play and this is what happens. I really like that. You see, then you don't have to have any issues about magnets, Velcro dots anything like that right let's get a little bit of stamping going on art gallery floral gallery dies I've just got um, a double layer of uh, flowers there in the sentiment which I think is lovely I love the little um, zigzaggy thingy I'm going to go with a slightly smaller one and let me bring that out and see what that fits over it fits over best wishes it no, almost. It goes over good luck. I like, oh, you're lovely. I like best wishes. So I'm going to have that one, which I can't see because everything's upside down. That's that one there. And then I want four of these. And my husband's just come back from a motorbike ride and he's probably going to go, do you want a coffee? Really loudly. Yes, but you know. <sighs> Oh, I need some white paper. Here we go. White, pa white paper. Let me just hack that down a bit smaller. Bit of a handier size. So I'm going to get all of this stuff mounted up on blocks. And one, two... Three, four, and five. I like to have options. And I've got pool party out because that's this colour here. But actually, I think I might go Coastal Cabana. Mmm. So. Or will I? No. I'm going to go pool party for this large one. And this lot, this one that's a more solid image and remove the bit of fluff. Ooh, that didn't come out very well. Put that away and then come back in with my coastal cabana. go over the top here to get the definition of colour and 
the same on this one. I think I've just done that upside down. Nobody will know. <laughs> and then my best wishes over here. And I'm going to get my little mini Diddy cutting emboss. I think I've done more die cutting because of this little guy than I've ever done before. I'm owning, I'm owning that. Yeah, I reckon I've done more. So I'll pop that on there. And I'm just grabbing a post-it note because I really can't wait for... I'm desperate for the magnetic plate. reasonably straight and... oh <laughs> wibbly post-it note push it down that way it should be okay one I'll do the same with this one and get this these are lovely very 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 pretty big post-it note for this one these all together so with this one I'm just going to elevate it I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not I'm you know horticulturally challenged it's not my area of expertise even by any vague stretch of the imagination um, but we'll run with it and a little edge for there on the front there, and that down the bottom, and how cute are they? The same but different. I really like it. I love that. I'm so pleased. Like I say, it's, it's, it's an origami design that I've adapted and adjusted um, to suit my needs and my paper. I really, really like it. I love how they come out. they've come out. They look very stylish, in my opinion. So I hope you like it too. If you have a go, let me know. Go to my craft forum, Poodle's Craft Forum on Facebook. Share some photos there. You can put them on my business page. You can email them to me. Let me see them. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.